Uh, right now, we are prepping to install a, a solar setup consisting of a 16 590 watt Jinko panels. One uh, blue watt uh, SPS 6000 ES plus and uh, a, a 15 kilowatt hour battery, a Tyco brand. I'm pressing the BMS keyboard. Start your exam. Exam pad. Okay, that's good. Now we're almost done. All wiring done. Uh, PV input 1, SPD, PV input 2, SPD 2. And we have uh, the AVR, is the inverter input, AC input 1 from uh, grid. Uh, this is SPD, then this is the inverter output to load. Then this is a manual transfer switch. Uh, it's serving as a, a bypass in case if something goes wrong with the inverter, the uh, user needs to switch over. So then switch over to read direct. So it bypasses the inverter, it comes from the AVR directly to load instead of uh because the inverter has, has issues so there will be no downtime if there is good they can just bypass so by default this is this will be the position then we have the battery baker here we have uh, a tyco uh, battery 
uh, 15 kilowatt hour uh, battery going with the inverter is a go watt uh, SPF 6000 ES. Panel installation is done. Uh, 16 in total, uh, two strings of eight at 590 watt uh, Dinko uh, monofacial solar panels. And in this uh, in this case, we oversize the panel a little bit by 11 uh, percent, just to make each string have a uh, four 4.7 kilowatts as against the 4,000 watts uh, recommended uh, input. And we're doing this because. Uh, it's very difficult to get the uh, total output of panels in the first place. Then the uh, inverter leaves a little room for over paneling just to uh, take advantage of low light uh, situations. And we do that putting in mind and staying within the limit of the VOC, that's the uh, uh, 500 volts. Uh, the whole calculation is between uh, 400 and uh, 20, uh, 440 and 450 max that's the point at which we uh, doing the calculation so with that in mind we over panel it and make sure we stay within the uh, voltage limit uh, nobody wants to see the magic white smoke right now okay, so the battery comes on battery comes on and Switch on the inverter. Switch on the inverter. At this point, put on PV1. PV1 and put on PV2. Is charging at uh, 25 amps, so we have to wait and see uh, the progress before we leave site. Uh, the amperage, the, the charging uh, amps, is, the amperage is, is changing with time, uh, with uh, sunlight intensity and the rainy season. So. But, this is, these are good numbers. And we hope that the battery charges are very fast at this rate. Install the SPDs uh, for the two strings closer to the panels because the string cable uh, uh, we ran uh, uh, were over uh, 10 meters. So, decided to uh, install some SPDs close to the panel and some SPDs close to the inverter itself, uh, just for uh, safety purposes. It's uh, better to it's cheaper to uh, secure and put the safety powers and measures in to replace the equipment.